Hey everybody, so today I'm going to go over a example using Watson Conversation API. Um, so if you haven't uh, created your service credentials, um, please watch my first video. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you'll need an IBM Cloud account and you'll need to get the Watson Conversation API so you'll get these credentials. After that, you can hit Launch Tool, um, you can hit Manage and then Launch Tool. Then you'll get to the IBM Watson Conversation Workspace. Um, you have this car dashboard example here that's the default, but um, I'm going to be using a tennis chatbot example. So it's a bot to help you all practicing your serve. So I'll go through kind of um, the intents that will look is something like tips. Um, you know, I want tips, I want tricks. And then I'll do something like, um, we'll do something like long, which is you miss the serve long, deep, long, past the line, super out, far out. So enough, enough of that. Let's go straight into the conversation. So my bot says, let me help you with your serve. Do you want to learn theory or tips and tricks to improve? I'll say tips. Tip. Tips, please. So he understands the intent tips. You can ask me about power consistency or just tell me where you missed your last serve, long into the net or wide, and I can give you tips based on that. So I missed my last serve long, as we talked about. So, miss serve, and what type of serve was it? Flat, spin, or slice? Um, it was it had a lot of spin, actually. Spin. So the bot says, toss a, f a bit further into the court, rotate your back until you feel stretched so that you can get more spin on the ball. Perfect, thank you. So in our dialogue here, um, what happened is we went to tips, inside tips, we went to long, and then inside long, we went to topspin. And we get this response. So what I'll help you do here in this video is create the API and get these responses in the console. Awesome, now that we saw that, let's get to the coding. Okay, so let's get started here. <clears throat> First, we have this prompt module. So this is basically going to grab that user input um, from the user. And um, after that, we have the, the Watson Developer Cloud. So we need that to actually call the, uh, the conversation SDK. OK, so the workspace is really important. Um, so you're going to have to create a workspace on your own and to create intents inside of that workspace. I'm not going to go over that in this video since the focus is the API. Um, uh, you, we're going to use my tennis server one as an example, but you'll have to make your own API and your own own dialogue, and and um, there I, uh, there's other videos for that, but I won't be going over that in this video. Um, I'll basically just be going over the coding, and then uh, lastly we have this instance of the Watson conversation, and we're basically just passing the username and password of our. Um, instance, and then we're passing the version and the version date, and um, that is uh, pretty much it. Without further ado, let's uh, get to the coding. So we'll do uh, we'll start a uh, we'll start a message API. So we'll call conversation message, and then in here we'll pass in a few a uh, few things such as the workspace. Um, so this is really important. Um, this is to tell Watson um, which exact dialogue we're going to actually use in this example. Then we'll have to have an input, and this is basically just the first time we're starting the application, so we're not going to give it any text. We just want it to run. And then once it gets, once it finishes, the callback function will be process user input. So input. So this is basically just going to fire once once this uh, once. Once this returns, this process user input uh, function is going to uh, fire. So let's write this function now. Function process, oh geez, process user input, and we'll give it a error and response. So if there's an error, first things first, if there's an error, uh, we'll return and console.log the error. Return. Okay, next um, we're going to check for the intents and then we'll print them out accordingly. So if uh, response.intents.length is greater than zero, um, so basically the intents come in an array, and if, the, if there is intents at all, we'll just do console.log 
um, intent, and then uh, console.log uh, response.intents of zero. So just grabbing that first intent there. Um, this is really a basic example, of course, if you wanted to make sure that there's um, you grab all the intents, you would do a for loop and then go through the whole iterate through the array. But I'm just doing a very basic example here um, to get you started. Output dot. So now we're gonna um, get the response. So this is the important part. We want to see where we are in the dialog, and this is uh, how we're gonna do that. Um, so if there is a response, um, we will we will uh, output that to the console. Console dot log response that output dot text of zero. Of course, um, same as before, um, to make sure if you get multiple responses, you probably would want to use a for loop to go through that array again, but um, we're not going to worry about that here. And then finally, this is going to prompt the user. So we're using that module that we have um, um, above. And OK, this is quotes. So basically, every this is basically just going to prompt the user and taking that input and feed it into the conversation. And um, we want to make sure that if uh, if we say stop, we stop. So we'll just return. And then lastly, this is the really important part. Um, we have to call this conversation message again here down here, and the reason is. Um, once we get the in, once we get the output um, from the conversation, we want to keep giving input. Um, so there's, you know, as we showed for the tennis bot, there's some nested dialogue nodes. So based on where you missed your serve, you're going to get different responses. If you missed it long, you'll get a different response than if you missed it in the net, right? So this is why we're um, calling this conversation API again down here. We're basically calling it again just to pass in the context to show exactly where it is now. So again, we'll pass in the workspace ID just like before. Uh, we'll pass in the input, and then this time we, we're passing in what we write from uh, uh, the prompt. So that's that new message variable right there. And then the last, last but not least, the context object is really important. So without this, um, Watson is basically going to forget where where um, it is, and then it won't be able to give you those nested um, responses that w everyone wants and needs. So lastly, we'll call process user input after as the callback function, um, and that's um, that should be it. Uh, so let's give it a try now. Um, so again, we're basically just going to try to model this output here. So we're going to go from this uh, intent. Um, down so from the tips intent to the long miss or the long intent and then to the spin intent all the way down here. Okay, well, let's test it out. So uh, after you run npm install and everything, you're gonna have to do npm conversation dot js. Okay, oopsie, not npm, sorry, node uh, conversation dot js. So the, it says, let me help you with your serve. Do you want to learn theory or tips and tricks to improve? So my response is tips, of course. Um, perfect. So we see here that our intent uh, is uh, tips, and the confidence is pretty high. You can ask me about power consistency, or just tell me where you list, missed your last serve, long or in the net. So I'll say long. OK, confidence is good. And what type of serve is it? Spin, flat, or slice? I'll say spin. Awesome. Toss a bit further into the core, rotate your back until you feel your stretch so you get more spin on the ball. Awesome. So um, we got what we wanted. Um, we are able to follow these nested intents, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope that was useful. And again, uh, please shoot me any questions if you have so. And thank you so much.